Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Thursday with yoga people. It is Thursday and Karen here with some slow mindful yoga. Six o'clock. If you're here, let me know if you're joining us tonight while I share. How's everybody? So, I posted that we're going to, we're going to just do um, a Bastrika breathing. It's just a 60 second um, breathing technique that what it does is it brings us from either a sluggish uh, feeling, if we're feeling sluggish or um, no motivation, or if we're stressed out and we're just um, at our wit's end or anxious. Um, it is um, the fastest way to change the state of mind, um, and that's said by uh, yoga Ayurveda um, teacher. So I'll wait a few minutes. It's really a weird technique. It's different. It's not weird. It's different. And I found um, some different people doing it on YouTube. Everybody does it kind of differently, some aggressively, um, but it, it brings us present, it brings us to reset our mind and calm, be calm, so whether we're already there or not tonight, we'll just give it a try, it's just 60 seconds. It's also, um, another name for it is bellows breath, so because we're using our lungs as a bellows, we're not going inhaling deeply into our belly and pressing our belly out like our three-part yoga breath um, we're using our lungs and it's a quick inhale exhale for 30 seconds and then we close our eyes and meditate for 30 seconds and that's it hi serena so try this serena it's going to be probably strange at first but i'll i'll show you an example of what um it's called bastrika breathing also known as bellow bellows breath okay okay so this is what it looks like watch my chest and my breathing so it's a quick full breath in the in the lungs you might need a tissue if your nose is you know because you're really blowing out your nose um <laughs> and so this is um gonna help uh bring everybody if you need it back to you know the fastest way to change the state of mind so no matter if it's an it's if it's a in a negative way you can bring it back to your neutral so we're just going to do that for 30 seconds and then we're going to just meditate with our eyes closed for 30 seconds and see how that feels okay so ready we'll go ahead and and so it's actually 30 breaths equals 30 seconds so it's like 30 a breath a second okay but i'll i'll tell you when to when we're done and then when to close your eyes and let's begin with our bellows breath. Oh, hold on. Didn't didn't work. Sorry. Okay, now start.
Okay. Stop and close your eyes. And for 30 seconds, we're just going to feel that. Nice breath. Good. Okay. So, that was Bellows Breath, or Bastrika Breathing. So how do you feel? <laughs> We're also going to go into some slow mindful yoga tonight. Um, so another thing, when you close your eyes after that breathing, um, some scientists say that 70% of what we were experiencing comes from our vision so when we close our eyes we tend to turn inward and we can feel things right so closing the eyes at that time after that breathing we can see how that feels or experience um, how that feels okay so let's get started with our practice <clears throat> Find your way onto your mat, and maybe you have your black <clears throat> or your towel to sit on. Finding a nice, comfortable position, wherever that is for you. If that's legs out, that's fine, or one leg in, whatever's comfortable for you tonight. Focusing on our breath again. Inhaling deeply, now finding our three-part breath. As we inhale, filling up the lungs, feeling our rib cage open. And then our belly pressing out as we inhale deeply. And then letting it all out. We're doing this through our nose, inhaling and exhaling through our nose. Let's do three uh, arms, move our arms, three circles, inhaling as we go up, exhaling as we go down. Just to begin a nice slow movement. And bringing it all the way down. And then let's go ahead and bring our arms out, shoulder height, and we'll do a gentle twist. So inhaling deeply here, and exhale, right hand, left knee, left arm behind us, opening our chest to the left, just looking towards the left, gentle twist. Continuing our breath, keeping that spine nice and tall. Inhaling back up. Exhaling, left hand to the right knee, and right arm behind us. And looking to the right side of the room. Breathing, keeping that spine neutral. And coming up, back up, arms, and then let's do a gentle flow from side to side, inhaling and exhaling. You might be going faster or slower than me, and that's fine, following your breath. And coming back to center. And releasing the arms. And we're going to release our left 
arm down and bring our right arm up, reaching up and gently over, feeling a nice stretch all along the right side of our torso. So we're pressing our hips down and reaching up with our hand, keeping the shoulder away from their ear, even reaching and relaxing the shoulder at the same time. Let's go to the other side. Right arm comes down, left arm comes up, and gently over. Again, we're releasing the sh um, shoulder from the ear, reaching the arm, pressing that left hip down. Couple breath here. And bringing it back, and let's do a flow. Inhaling over, exhale, inhale, a couple more times. Slow, mindful movements. Where'd we end up? Let's see. And one more. And back to center. Finding our center, finding our breath, and our back of our hands come together for a little wrist movement. Keeping the wrists together, we're going to rotate around. And then go the opposite way. Just loosening up those wrists. <clears throat> and release. So finding our way <clears throat> onto the floor, onto our hands and knees for tabletop, and we'll go into our cat cow. Finding our hips over our knees, our feet flat. Shoulders, elbows, wrists are stacked. Our hands are pressed down onto the mat. We're going to inhale, bringing the chin up, tilting the tailbone up, keeping those shoulders wide, and then exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Engage the core as you press spine to the ceiling, chin to the chest, tilting that tailbone down. And then following that movement with your breath, with your own speed of breath, everyone will be at a different place here. Just following your own breath. A couple more. This is good for lower back. And come back to tabletop and we'll do this nice gentle swish from side to side. So you just relax the hip and let it float from side to side, turning your head the opposite way. Again, a nice gentle, slow movement, moving with your breath. Exhale, swish, inhale, exhale. Good, back to tabletop, and then press back into child, releasing the hips and reaching the arms forward, releasing the forehead to the floor. Couple breaths. Finding your way back up uh, to tabletop to prepare for our spinal balance. So here you can just do legs or just do arms, or you can go ahead and try both. So we're pressing our left leg back, 
the heel as if we're putting it up against the back wall. Inhaling, bringing our right arm forward. So we have that nice line from our fingertips back to our heel. Hips are parallel to the floor. Exhale, come down. Inhale the other side. We'll hold here for a few breaths like we did the other side as we think about where, where we're, our body is in space here. We're pressing our right heel towards the back of the wall, reaching with our left fingers, feeling that line from fingertip to heel. Hips parallel to the floor, so a tendency to put that leg up. We want to keep it down, parallel, hips parallel. Exhale down. And now we're going to flow with our breath, inhaling as we open up, exhaling as we come down, finding your own speed governed by your breath. So your breath dictates how fast or slow or to what speed you are moving. So there's um, a tendency in our practice as we go along for our breath to become deeper, which is a good thing, and therefore our movements are slower. Because if we're following our breath, and it's deeper and slower, so our movements are deeper and slower. And then press back into your child. Reach active arms, so we can relax our arms on the ground, or we can reach with active arms. Prepare for our first down dog. So we're going to inhale and come back up. Curl the toes under, and then press up into our down dog. So finding your way here, if you become fatigued, we can always put our knees down and then press back up. That's the practice right that's how we become stronger so we press away from the floor shoulders open so rotate those biceps outward we're pressing our sit bones on our bottom up to the ceiling and then walking it out alternating our feet walking it out loosening up the back of the legs mine are very tight so this is always I always will have bent knees in this down dog to get the proper um, position, right? And then let's go ahead and walk it forward and find ourselves in our forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, let's come up all the way, slowly finding our way up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale as we bring our arms all the way up, touching our hands, and exhale back down. Finding our way and standing. <clears throat> and give it a little shake, shaking the arms. Shaking the legs. And we're going to find our way to the front of our mat. And then bring our left foot back into our warrior one position. So that position is wherever it's comfortable for you, as wide as is comfortable. So our hips are forward in our warrior one. We're going to place our right hand on our right hip and our left arm is going to move with our movement today. We're going to inhale and bring that left arm up. Let's see where we're at. Let me see if you can see a little better. I wish I could turn it a different way. And then exhale, when we bring the arm down, see the right knee comes back. So we're going to inhale, the right knee bends, the left arm comes up, and then exhale. So feel those two working together, the right knee and the left arm. 
Moving nice and slow. Inhale. We're going to pause at the top for the next few. Inhale and pause. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then the next one we're going to hold up. Hold our arm up with our knee bent. We're going to breathe. We're reaching, reaching up. Good. And now we're going to bend forward. So you can bend so nice flat back, or you can come all the way down, or your hand on your leg, and then coming back up. So that right arm stays on the right hip. Again, forward, and back up. Next one, we're gonna pause briefly, and back up. And then we're gonna come all the way and hold this time. So taking your right hand, maybe hands on our thigh or our shin or even on the floor. Feeling the back of the leg here and breathing. Maybe bringing that left leg in a little bit. And bringing our arms into cactus arms as we come back up. And then come back to center. So let's find our way into our mountain pose and close our eyes and maybe feel the difference from side to side, from our right leg to our left leg, to our left arm to our right arm. Bringing our attention inward, seeing if we can feel a, a difference. And we're gonna go to the other side. So standing in our mountain and bringing our right foot back. So our left knee is bent, our left hand on our hip, and our right arm is coming up. So we're gonna bring the right arm down, inhale. Again, we're moving the right arm and the left leg. So when we bring our right arm up, our left knee bends. Inhale, and then exhale. And pause briefly, and exhale. A couple more of those as we inhale. Pause briefly, and exhale. Again. In the next one, we're going to hold, inhale, and breathe. Good. Now, we're going to reach over. Inhale up. Again, you can come all the way down. Halfway, you can bring your arm down, coming up, inhale, and pause, and then we're going to release both hands as we come down, shin, thigh, or the floor. So you may bring the right leg in. And we're gonna breathe here. Feeling that back of that left leg, breathing into that stretch. Couple more breaths. 
and cactus arms as we come up, bring right leg in, and gently let's walk it out, shake it out, find our way to our mountain pose, and let's feel how that is. Bring our attention inward. How does that feel? So those were both asymmetrical movements, and so now we'll do a symmetrical movement. So we're going to come into our chair. It's kind of a chair and a forward fold. So we're going to inhale and bend our knees into our chair. And then inhale up. And then... Inhale up. Bring as far as you're comfortable. Inhale. Inhale up. And now we're going to hold our chair. Exhale. So you can come into your chair. You can have your arms up. You can have cactus arms. You can reach forward, like reaching forward, um, and then you settle back into your heels. And we're going to breathe, focusing on putting our weight back in our heels, shoulders are relaxed, and breathing. Good. Inhale all the way up. And release. And shake it out. Shake it out. So, let's come down to the floor. <clears throat> onto, so like onto our knees, onto our haunches. And if you are comfortable, it's a good stretch. Bring your arms behind us. I'm just feeling that in the quads, in front of our thighs. Couple breath here. And then coming up, I'm not on my mat, so we're going to come up and inhale up onto our knees. And then exhale into our child's pose. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. And find your way back to your child's pose. Coming up onto our hands and knees for a couple of plank poses. So we're on our hands and knees. We're going to look to the right and bring our right leg out. We'll put this down. So our right leg is out and we'll walk it back and come up. We're going to bring that left arm up and reach. Feel a nice stretch on the inner thigh. Reaching with our left hand. And then releasing the left arm down. And bringing the right arm up, keeping our hips forward and reaching that right arm over our head. Coming up. Bring your arms forward, release down, bring that right leg in. Let's look to the left as we bring our left leg out. Walk it back, coming up, release that left arm, hand down our left leg, bring, bring our right arm up and over. Breathing into that nice stretch all along the inside of the left eye. Keeping the hips forward. 
Feeling a nice stretch all along our right side. Bringing our right arm down and bringing our left arm up and over. Bicep over our left ear. Keeping the hips forward, shoulders back. And engaging the core as we come up, bringing that left leg in, arms forward. And release down into your child's pose. Forehead to the floor, reaching the arms forward. So we're going to pick up our head and let's walk our hands over to the left side of our body. We'll relax our head. Just feeling a nice stretch here all along the right side. Walking it back to center and then over to the right. Releasing our head down and just feeling all, that stretch all along the left side. Walking it back to center. So we're going to come to a seat. We can cross our legs and just come all the way over. Find a seated position. Coming into our boat pose. So our feet are flat on the floor. Our knees are bent. And our spine is nice and tall. And we're reaching our hands forward. As we come back a little bit so we can feel the core is engaged. If you want to pick your feet up just one inch and I can feel the core totally engaged. So I'm good right here. If you want to even straighten your legs to the degree you want, go for it. We're breathing here though. If we, if we stop breathing, we want to come out of this position and come back up when we regain our breath. It's all about breath in our yoga practice. Ooh. Makes me warm. <clears throat> so let's do 20 side to sides. Hands together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Release down. <clears throat> I don't want to kick my candle over. So we're going to come down slowly. Hands to the back of the knees as you bring, bring it all the way down. Give yourself a gentle rock here. A hug. Hug your knees in. And let's go ahead and put our hands on each knee and then draw a circle. Big circle, as big as you can, without falling over to the side. And then let's go the opposite way. And that's a little more challenging, isn't it? Uh, that's awkward. Opposite ways sometimes feels awkward. Come back to center. Release your feet flat to the floor. We're kind of come into our bridge pose. So our feet are flat. Our heels are as close to our bottom as is comfortable. Arms along the side of our body. Our knees are hips width apart. And let's inhale. And exhale those hips up to the ceiling, pressing the feet into the floor, pressing hips to the ceiling, engaging the glutes. And if you want to walk your shoulders together and clasp your hands under your body, there's an option there. Keeping our knees hips width apart here. Nice breath. 
Release the hands and slowly bring it down. Bring those knees in again, releasing our back. Let's do a little moving bridge. So we're going to inhale, and arms up over the head as we press hips to the ceiling. And then exhale, bringing it down, bringing hips down, and arms down. Let's do like five of those. Following your own breath here. Again, we're doing slow, mindful movements. Being aware of our breath. Again, if we lose our breath, we just pause and then come back and join us. I don't know how many I did. Let's call that five. Coming back, we're going to do our legs up the wall. So if you have a block or you have a blanket, you can put under your hips and then bring the legs straight up. So this inversion is a good one for a lot of different reasons, and I did find my paper. So besides being good for cooling down after a workout or after our yoga practice, it's good to do before bed to relax. It's good for anxiety if we feel anxious. It's a good place to be. This is in three reasons to invert, manage stress. Research has shown people who practice yoga regularly are attuned to their nervous system. So that talks to the point of turning our attention inward too and, and our slow movements in our yoga practice. Our nervous system likes slow movement. And it improves our immune function. I'm not going to read all of these. Uh, it soothes joints and strengthens core muscles. So those are three um, reasons to invert, which is what this is, an inversion, um, as well as the other ones I mentioned. So you can do this as long as you like. But we'll break here and release our feet flat to the floor. We're going to then pick up our hips to remove that black or towel. And then we're going to come into um, a couple twists. Our arms are going to go out like a T. And we're going to cross our knees, right leg over left. And then release, let those legs float to the left as we turn our head to the right for a nice big twist, keeping that right shoulder on the floor, both shoulders, and breathing. Nice breath, taking advantage of our twist with our breath, nice deep breath, inhales, exhales. ahead and engage our core as we bring those legs up. Let's go ahead and switch. So left knee over right knee. And then we're going to float those legs to the right and turn our head to the left. Again, taking advantage of this twist with some nice deep inhales and exhale through the nose. One of my favorite twists, really goes deep here. And engaging the core again and bringing it back to center, we're going to go all the way down for Shavasana, or final relaxation. So find your way all the way down. Uh, Shavasana, our palms up to the ceiling, our shoulders are relaxed, and your feet 
just wherever they are comfortable. Just taking a minute here to close our eyes again to um, bring our attention inward and just do like a little body scan, um, a quick body scan. We're going to check in with our, our head, our face. We're going to relax our muscles in our face and our around our eyes. Relaxing our jaw, our shoulders are relaxed. And as we go down, we feel our torso feeling heavy and relaxed. Even feeling as if we could um, melt, our skin could melt into the floor. Really feeling relaxed here, and and then taking that body scan. You know, if you take a body scan from the head to the shoulders, to the torso, the hips, the legs. If you come across something that's, you know, brings brings your attention to it, just acknowledge it, and then release it. Just let it go and move on. So checking in and feeling, you know, checking in on how you feel after the practice. Um, taking a few minutes just to absorb our practice in this Shavasana position. And then beginning to wiggle the toes and the fingers. Bringing the knees up to the chest. And then stretching them back out <laughs> and reaching your arms up over your head and pressing your legs straight for a really long stretch. For a nice stretch from your toes to your fingertips. And then bring your knees in and find your way up to a seated position, taking your time. We're going to do one last inhale, all the way up with our arms, inhaling up, exhaling to heart center, and close with Namaste. And I thank you for joining me. So this was our Thursday night yoga. I'll be here on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 o'clock. I'm Karen for Recovery Fitness, and check on their Facebook page for all kinds of other interesting and fun and action and active things going on there. There's a um, schedule that you can look at with times and days and everything. Well, that's what a schedule is, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for joining, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.